Hi everyone, Aaron here for Zolotech, and yesterday Google released Android Q Beta 3. This is available for up to 21 devices and was quite a hefty download. You can see, if I go over here, it was 1.2 gigabytes or 1274.5 megabytes. Now let's take a look at the build number because that's one thing they've moved in this. So if we pull down on our notification drawer there, you can see that's the actual build and it's QPP3.190404.015. So that's one of the things they've changed. They've moved that, making it much easier to see which build you're actually on. Now this is available on 21 devices. So Google has partnered with a lot of different OEMs, everything from Essential to some different Oppo phones or Oppo phones and even OnePlus 6T. So you've got all sorts of different phones you can install this on if you'd like to. And the thing they've done is focused on three things and that is innovation, security, and privacy, along with digital well-being. But their main focus is those first three. Now this one is a lot more stable so far than beta 2, so you should be okay to install it, but just know there's going to be bugs in any beta software. Now they've also built in native 5G support, so it will support 5 when it's rolled out to all the different devices that support it and it's built in to Android where it will be when this releases. Now let's talk about what's actually changed and you may have noticed that it's very dark here. They have a built-in dark theme and we knew this from before but they've actually changed the way it looks all throughout the OS and it carries across to different integrated apps. It does not work in some third-party apps yet. So all you need to do is go to display then go to your theme and you can flip it from light to dark. And it will save you some battery because it's a true dark theme because it blacks out all the pixels if you have an OLED display. And the next thing you might notice is those gestures. You'll see there's a little bar here at the bottom and that little bar is, is a gesture you can turn on. You can turn this off if you don't like it, but swipe up, you go to your app drawer, swipe again, you go home, swipe and hold, you've got your different applications. It's very much like iOS that way. Swipe left, it brings you back to where you were. Again, swipe up, you go home. And then also when you're in, say, a different web page or whatever, we'll go here, and maybe we wanna go back, we can go back. We just swipe left to go back, swipe right to go forward, and it brings you to wherever you'd like. Now, there's something built in for smart replies. They change the way notifications work when they come in for replies. So let me show you what I mean. Let me text myself on my phone. So I've texted myself. It should pop in here any moment. And you'll see there's auto replies right in the top. I said, how are you? I can hit good, good you, good and you. And then also there's some new notification changes. So you'll see I got an email here from Newegg tap and hold, and now I can change the way I interact with it. I can say it's interruptive or gentle, turn off notifications altogether and apply those. So they've changed that around and I think that's really nice. Let me turn on do not disturb for right now so I don't get any more of that. Now there's a couple more changes in this particular beta. Now if you haven't seen all of the different changes coming for Android Q, I have beta one and beta two videos with all sorts of different changes that they're bringing along to this. So there's a lot more, but this is just what's new in beta three. But the next thing is updates to digital well-being. So if you go into your settings and you use digital well-being, you can go down here, you've got your digital well-being and they've made changes to this, but they're also changing it so that there is a new focus mode. So what you can do is pick the apps that you think might distract you and then you can silence them. So maybe you're using email and news. You don't want to get notifications from them, but it will allow you to keep texting and maps working. That's the example Google actually gives. So that will be added a little bit later on. Also, there's a new family link setting coming later on to help you manage children's devices. All we have now is a screenshot and this is from Google's website on Android, but that's all we really have about this, but it is a new feature coming. And one of the most impressive new features, which isn't available yet, is a new live caption feature. And this is an accessibility or it's an accessibility feature or just for anyone that wants it. So maybe you're on a website playing video or any place really playing video. It will transcribe that in real time into a caption so you can see what it's actually saying. It's a really impressive demo that they did and it would help not only people just wanting to look at their phone and see what they're saying, but also those who are hearing impaired and it should really help a lot with that. Beta 3 also brings an update to emergency information. So if we go into settings, 
Then we go and tap on our profile. Under our profile, we tap on emergency information, and at the top we have medical information, and below that, emergency contacts. Emergency contacts is pretty simple and straightforward, just add a contact. But under medical information, we have not only our name, but address, blood type, allergies, medications, organ donor, and medical notes. So it's just a little bit more comprehensive and should help should you be in an emergency. And that is all of the changes in Beta 3 so far. And again, there's this gesture control. I haven't really gotten used to it. Uh, it. It does work well when you go left to right, but actually going back without the back button is a little bit challenging at times. If I want to go back, I can swipe or go here to go back in settings. So you can go forward or back in settings. It's just a little bit challenging to get used to, but overall I think the idea of this is really nice and I can't wait to see it even more refined later on, later this year when it comes out. I would expect beta four in June. It seems like that's what Google's timeline is for Android Q beta four. So be sure to check back for then when we have an update on that particular update as well. I'll link this wallpaper in the description as I always do. If you haven't subscribed already, please subscribe and like if you enjoyed the video. If not, the other one's okay too. As always, thanks for watching. This is Aaron. I'll see you next time.